In this video, we're going to reset a password on Ubuntu using a live CD. We're going to talk about the concept of ch root. We're going to talk about some key directories. Um, I have a fully installed Ubuntu system here uh, inside a virtual box. So you'll want to get to the point where you're logged in. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type the power off command. We're going to assume in this case that we do not know the password. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while my VM shuts off. Looks like we've already done that, so I'm good. So here's my Ubuntu machine right here. We're going to go to Settings, and we're going to go to System, Storage, actually. We're going to find where the CD-ROM is, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add an ISO file, an ISO. You can see I'm choosing one here. You may have to browse for it. Wherever you have your .iso file for that live boot, we're going to go ahead and insert that. We're going to restart the machine, and we're going to boot it into a live environment. So here I am booted into a live CD. I've done my sudo su, and let's take a look at what we've got inside of our home directory first. We're going to mount the file system that's on disk. So when we look at cd home here, it's important to keep this in mind for later on, slash home we see that there's just that live Ubuntu user. And that's how we'll, that's one of the ways we'll know that we're on a live CD here. So as it stands right now, our CPU, our computer, our virtual computer, or our physical computer is running from uh, the live CD. So uh, the computer has utilized this to boot up. It's loaded all of its executable into the RAM here. Um, and so our entire system is sort of dependent on our CD-ROM, and we have got we have that home Ubuntu uh, folder here. Now we also have our hard drive, which is plugged into this computer, but the hard drive is uh, hasn't been connected to anything yet. So our hard drive that has slash home student on it is kind of like a USB device that's been plugged in and it's ready to be used, but we aren't actually using it uh, for anything. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to identify the, um, the system identifier for that hard drive. We can do that in a couple of different ways. I like to use the CF disk program. That is a, a low-level disk partitioner. Uh, just be careful. Be sure you don't overwrite anything. But I'll go ahead and type CF disk here, and we'll check and see. By running CF disk, it's going to show me what our primary hard drives are in the system. And we can see that it's labeling our hard drive is SDA1. We can see how big it is. Uh, we have SDA2 and we have SDA5. So one of those is going to contain our Linux file system with all of our folders on it. We can see that this one's uh, 69.7 gigabytes here. And so it's either SDA2 or SDA5. Now to get out of this, you can just hit Q to quit to get out of CF disk. Uh, we can do an F disk hyphen L as well. And that's going to list out all of the different devices that we have uh, available here. And again, we're looking for something that matches the size of our disk. And in this case, we see again SDA2 and SDA5. Depending on what you're working on, those identifiers could be different. So let's go ahead and CD slash or CD dot dot a couple of times. And let's get to the root of our live distribution. And if I CD into the MNT folder, let's look at what's in MNT. This is for mounting devices. Um, right now, inside of LS, uh, if we do an LS inside of MNT or an LS-ALH, we'll see that there is nothing inside of MNT. So in my case, I'm going to try to mount some of these devices. So let's do a mount um, dev SDA5. And we're going to stick that device that we've identified into the MNT directory. And it could throw an error. Depends on what you're trying to do. So I'll CD into MNT here. I'll do an LS and you'll see that here we have all the folders that are on that hard drive that's attached to the system. So I'll CD into home from here. And it's space home because we are now in MNT home and I'm going to do an LS and you'll see that we have the folder student. So this is clearly 
the primary system that I was logged into at the beginning of this video. So in MNT Home, we have student, but in slash home, we have Ubuntu. So just for reference, I can U mount MNT as long as I'm not inside of the folder. And if I CD into MNT, you can see that that hard drive is gone. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that we mount the correct drive that contains our primary operating system where we want to change the password. That's all I'm going to do in this video. In the next video, we'll go through the process of uh, arranging things so that we can execute programs and they'll actually affect the hard disk that contains the primary hard drive.